What's up you guys, so we're going to XJ Jesse's channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the interior door speakers on your XJR6 which is very similar to the X300 and if your jack is equipped with a 6x9 I'll be also showing you guys how to replace it. So let's get to it. Use a small flathead screwdriver to pry open the cover behind the door handle and remove the screw. Press down on the wood trim and slide it towards the interior to remove it. Remove the two Phillips screws behind the wood trim. Remove the hidden screw underneath the rubber grommet. Remove the retainer clip near the door hinge. Remove the Phillips screw from the lower door panel. Remove the cover underneath the armrest and remove the hidden screw. Now you should be able to remove the lower door panel. If you find it difficult to remove, use a trim tool to pry out the retainer clips. Unplug the electrical connectors from the door panel. To get to the speaker, you have to remove the Phillips screws behind the foam door panel. You don't have to remove the two screws holding the door interior light. Remove the screws holding the stock speaker and install the new one. I ended up just screwing in new holes for the new speaker. On the front right side speaker, gray pink is positive and gray orange is negative. On the left side speaker, gray pink is positive and gray red is negative. For the rear speakers, the upper door panel removal is pretty much the same. To remove the lower panel, unscrew the three Phillips screws underneath the armrest. For the rear side speaker, pink purple is positive and black white is negative. So before I show you guys how to replace the 6x9 that's located on the rear shelf panel, I want you guys to know that I wired it directly straight to the aftermarket stereo since I ended up installing one. I'll be showing you guys how to do that on the next video and how to install a subwoofer and talk more about the wiring. But unfortunately, I don't know the factory wiring for the 6x9 speaker. Not sure which one's negative or which one's positive. So if any of you guys find out, let us know in the comments section. So let's get started. Remove the fuse covers from underneath the seats by loosening the retainer clips on each side. Remove the T20 star bit on each side. Remove the top seatbelt covers. Depending on your jag, you might have the seatbelts on the top shelf so you don't have to worry about the covers. These covers are extremely fragile and most likely they will break. I recommend applying some double sided tape to mount the covers back. Remove the Phillips screws and the star bits securing the rear seats. I can't recall the star bit size so anybody that's watching this and doing the job please let us know in the comments section. Thanks. Lift the seats towards the back of the rear window, then towards you. Remove the 
Remove two retainer clips to secure the top shelf panel. If your Jaguar is equipped with tweeters, unplug them or remove them from underneath the shelf panel. Use a stubby screwdriver to remove the four Phillips screws. If you guys found this video helpful, please select that like button. And if you personally want to support this channel, there is a donation link in the video description. Or you can purchase a super thanks. All donations will be used for tools and parts to make more videos for you guys. The current donation that I have, I'll be using to purchase an upgraded intercooler for the XGR6. And I plan on bringing you guys that video around mid-November. And stay tuned for part 2 where I'll be showing you guys how to install an aftermarket stereo and a subwoofer on your Jag, on your XGR6, which is very similar to the X300. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Late.